Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a new brow product. And the brow product is called All May Long Lasting Brow Color Brows On and On. So this is what the packaging looks like. If you guys watched my What I Got For Christmas video, this is what my boyfriend got me. And he got me the color brown. So I am really, really excited to use this. I did um, do a product similar to this. Um, I'll link it down below, but that was... Um, I mean, that was when I lived in my old house. So yeah, it says new on it. So obviously it's new and I'm pretty sure he got this from Ulta. I do believe this was around 10 or $12. I will put it somewhere on the screen. But that's what the product looks like. So let's see what we have to do. It says new, apply thick coat to brows. Two, let dry for 30 minutes. Three, gently peel away in direction of hair growth. Four, brows on and on. Okay. So let's just read the other directions besides in the ones on here. Directions. Apply a thick coat to the brows, making sure gel reaches skin underneath and in between hairs. Immediately wipe away any product that extends outside the desired brow shape. Let dry for 30 minutes. Gently peel from nose bridge outward to avoid potential tugging and removal of brow hairs. That doesn't sound so good. Or use a spoolie brush to gently remove the set brow gel from brows and groom as desired. Cap tightly after use. Hmm, okay, so I'm not sure. Um, my hair already falls out pretty easily because I do tend to pull my hair. I think I've talked about this before, but I have like absolutely no eyebrows. Eyelashes basically because I pull them out. And when I was pregnant, I like pulled out all of this hair in the front of here. That's why that kind of looks like that. So I think I might spoolie it out to be honest, other than even pull this way because my hair is just very, very gentle right now, I guess. So yeah, I'm going to get my little mirror and let's see how this go. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. It's kind of a thicker, um, brush. So if you have really itsy bitsy tiny eyebrows, I want to use as maybe a different brush so you can be more precise I'm trying to think should I use a brush I'm gonna use a brush okay so I'm just using my this is the only angled brush I have clean but my wet and wild one just so I can get more of a precise application so I'm just gonna take that right off of the brush this is really thick okay let's see where this goes oh god I'm nervous about this like what if I look like a fucking idiot to work So far, so good. Probably should have looked at a clock before I did this, but whatever. Yeah, this is very, very thick. I can already feel it drying, which is weird. Why does it take 30 minutes on it? Oh my God, I feel like this is just gonna be a big mess. Anyways, I'm taking a baby wipe quickly, quickly, quickly. I always said washcloth, but this should do what's wet. I'm just gonna clean up what's going on a little bit okay I think I'm gonna use the actual brush for this for the front of my eyebrows because I don't know it's like thicker over here so I guess if this doesn't work we can try a whole how to remove this out of your eyebrows little thing at the end okay I know they look crazy right now and kind of uneven but um, I will say just from starting off with this, it is kind of hard to work with. I realize if you don't hurry up and do it and then you try to go over a spot, um, it will kind of already peel off and they do dry very quickly. So it's kind of annoying, but um, I feel like already this is going to be a big fail, but we'll see. Um, I'm going to wash off my makeup brush like now because I feel like this is going to fuck up my brush if I don't do it now and I will be back in just that I don't think I want to peel it off I want to spool it off it's been about 30 minutes and it's all like completely dry so I'm going to go ahead with the spoolie brush and just try oh my god this is not going to come out like this what this is not doing anything guys Okay, there it goes. Oh 
I'm recording, but okay. Love you. Love you, bye. This is like hard to get out with a spoolie, but maybe should I peel it? I don't know. I'm peeling it. I like that. Wow. I didn't think it was going to work like this. It's maybe not the best shade for me, but I mean, it definitely looks like I have a little bit more eyebrows there than I did before. Did peel off a little bit of hairs. I only see one hair on it though. Okay. And there's the other one. Hmm. Like it definitely left some color there. I feel, but it is kind of a weird color. It kind of looks like it has a greenish tint. And right here and on the top of my eyebrow, it kind of looks red almost. It's kind of annoying, but it definitely did leave color there for sure. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a baby wipe and see if anything comes off. Okay, so the whole thing comes off. The whole thing just woke off, but you can definitely see right here that there was a difference from this eyebrow to this eyebrow. Let me grab this. Okay, so right here you can definitely tell there's a difference from this eyebrow to this eyebrow. Like for sure, but that just completely woke off like it was nothing. And see, like, this is what I'm talking about. It kind of looks like a greenish, like, orange color on my eyebrows. So that wasn't, like, the most flattering for my hair color. Yeah, like, this just completely came off. Like, no problem. My final review with this product is that it's good. Like, it does the job, but I feel like they probably need to come out with more colors that, like, suit more people and maybe more come out with like a more long lasting formula because this says right on it long lasting brow color but i obviously you guys just saw i woke that off with a wipe um it doesn't claim of how long it should stay on your eyebrows for so that's also something you know i should have kind of assumed so i mean it's good if you like let's say you are getting ready sunday night and you need somewhere to go monday morning and you don't do that much makeup and you wanted to just like lightly fill in your eyeballs with this because it did look really natural and um it looked really good like it didn't look bad with like this you know what i mean when i first put it on it obviously didn't come out looking that harsh but i mean i shower a lot obviously and i wash my face like twice a day so this just isn't something that's gonna be for me but nonetheless it was fun to try out but i probably give it like a six out of ten stars I have no idea if my camera's gonna pick this up, but you can literally see like the print from my eyebrow hair, which is kind of cool. All right, so in general, that was a fail, I would say. If you guys like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.